Hello, my beautiful friends. I'm here with a general reading um, for the sign of Aries. So this reading could resonate with anyone who has Aries strongly in their chart. Um, that said, we are all different ages. We're all moving through dips, different types of experiences and we're living all around the world. So um, from my perspective, it is very impossible for all Aries people to be living in the same life template. So um, this reading may not resonate with you, but hopefully there's some information here that can help you forward um, in your journey. Um, Aries, at the end of this video, I will be offering an extended reading. This reading in itself is a comprehensive reading. My extended readings go deeper into some of the energies here. And at the end of the reading, I will determine um, which energies I'll be going into. Um, so just wanted to remind, I've been forgetting to say that, that I even do extended readings. It's very silly of me to do that. So um, I wanted to do that. And there was one other thing I was wanting to mention, but um, I can't think of it now. That's how it is when I start to get into energy. So I have to hurry and do my announcements real quick before before the energy begins to, um, before the story begins. So if the energy is here, Aries, and I always do this in your energy, it's powerful. And um, I am Aquarius, and so I um, really uh, fly around in your energy. So let's go ahead and get started. What is uh, the general the general energy here for this group of Aries people? What is it? What is the current energy for this group of Aries people? What are they experiencing right now? What are they experiencing right now? Or what is the current energy that they're in? What are they experiencing right now? What is the current energy that they're in? Nine of Cups. What is the current energy that they're in, please? This group of Aries people. What is the current energy that this group of Aries people are in? This deck is the wheel of the year. that Aries, this, this group of Aries is currently in. What is the current energy that this group of Aries is currently in? Something very exciting happening, Aries. I felt it right in the beginning. So there's something very exciting happening. Let's go ahead and look. And look, the Nine of Pentacles flipped over as well. That's a good sign. All right, before we get too excited, before I get too excited here, let's look at what you'll be stepping into in the next immediate future. I have a card here that's backwards. What will Aries be stepping into in the next immediate future, the next seven to 10 days or two weeks or three weeks or whatever we feel like this time could be, however it could resonate with us, depending on how quickly we're moving. What is the next immediate energy? What is the next immediate forecast for this group of Aries? What is the next immediate forecast for this group of Aries? What is the next immediate energy? And look how these energies fell on top of this card that hasn't been shown to us yet. Three of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Very interesting how it just landed squarely on top. I'm going to take it off now, but it's worth remembering. If that is meaningful to you, remember the connection between those two cards and this card. I'll try to as well. Ooh, and then we have the Four of Cups or that landed right on top too. So that's really interesting. All right. Next immediate forecast. Next immediate forecast. Aries, but the lovers is here. Next immediate forecast for Aries. Next immediate forecast for Aries. <clears throat> Guidance, please. Guidance, please, for Aries. Guidance, please, for Aries. my friends. I would like to welcome you into this reading. Welcome, beautiful friends. It's it's so nice to have you here in this space, 
And I look forward to uncovering what this story is for you today. Um, wishing all of you well as we start out into the story, because I feel like we're stepping into something new here. Um, we have the Nine of Cups energy. This is wish fulfillment. This is something that leave, that's leaving you quite breathless. When I get in this energy, it's like, whew, it's, it, it affects my breath. And, and how I move energy is through my breath. Um, and so when, when an energy affects my breath and when I put my hand over this energy, um, it, it tingles my hand and it, and it affects me. So there's some sort of excitement here. It's, it's, it, it's anticipation. It's excitement. It is butterflies, that kind of energy. Now we do have a knight of source energy that's coming in. Now I'm going to open this up. Temp, em, Empress. Ooh. And then we have oh, Ace of Cups. Okay, my stomach's making noises. I do that when the energy shift is so big like this. So please be patient with me and try not to listen. Try not. To, I hope the microphone doesn't pick that up. Ace of Cups here, new love. Now, let's let's talk about this Ace of Cups energy before I, I'm needing to ground just for a moment. So I, I feel good getting into the Ace of Cups. Now, the Ace of Cups energy, it can be um, romantic love. It absolutely can be. And for some of you, this is romantic love. But as we all know, there are many, many, many definitions of the word love. <clears throat> love for family, love for children, love for animals, right? These are all different kinds of love. Love for the earth, love for a tribe of people, love for a homeland, right? It's powerful kind of love. It's a love that will create war, right? This kind of love. We have new love, right? It's it's something that inspires you. It brings you to a new place. So it doesn't have to be romantic love. And when I talk about love, a love for a homeland, a love for a people that can cause a war, I'm not talking about war in itself. I'm talking about the power of love for something. And it also, um, when it's mixed with fear, it can become quite, quite powerful, can it not? Right? So it, this is what happens to me when I get into your, <laughs> your energy, Aries. Um, please be patient with me. So this is new love here. It doesn't have to be romantic love. I don't want to leave out a whole bunch of people in this reading when they're working on love in different kinds of ways. So this is new love coming in. Is there new love coming in? Absolutely. It could it be love for self. Absolutely. It can be love for oneself, self empowerment, self awareness. What is the nine of cups? It's taking the time to realize and to fully understand what brings happiness into our own lives. What brings health and well being? and a sense of security and joy into each and every one of our experiences. And that is different for, for each one of us. But that is happening here because we have the Nine of Cups and we also have the Ace of Cups. So this Knight of Swords, let's get into this energy. I'm ready now. Knight of Swords. So there's something coming in quick, coming in quite quickly, or there's something here that is being said um, very powerfully here. So let me get into this energy with the Knight of Swords. Um, it's a strong energy, and it's different from the fire energy. It is air. Um, it is actually the kind of energy that I use when I get into your energy, Aries. This is the kind of energy that I use, the air energy. So, um, and you all know the ones that have followed me for some time know how um, crazy I can be when I get in your energy. So there's something here that's, it's, it's taking your balance that you have. It's taking your balance and it's, and it's tipping you backwards in the strength of it. So I'm going to. Could be something that you're going to be working on. Another three popped out. Well, it didn't come out on the table, but it flipped over. Four of Wands. All right. So there's something here that's being. Okay. I have one more energy here. Ace of Swords flipped over. I mean. I can't. <laughs> oh boy, this is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. 
Aries, it's so beautiful. Okay. There's something that you're, you're either in this energy or this energy is coming at you. And I have a feeling that there's a merging of this energy, right? You guys don't sit still like you when you're in your power. And I feel like I'm yelling, but uh, I'll try to moderate, but you know what? I'm just going to go. I'm going to go love me or hate me. This is a story. Um, I feel like since I feel like you, especially with this air energy, you're in your, in your natural element, you're taking action. You are a fire energy. You take action, you move forward, you create, you go into new frontiers. This is your superpower, right? You can't do it all the time because you need to rest. But when you're in your natural superpower, this is what you do. So I feel like you're meeting this Knight of Swords energy. I, I feel like you could either be the Knight of Swords energy or you're meeting it, right? So you're in action, but there's some other action here. It's powerful. It's like a blending of two forces. All right. So um, it has something to do with work. We have the three of pentacles coming out first. Now, this three of pentacles, because it fell so cleanly in this place, it is just beginning. It's just starting up with the three of pentacles. The three of pentacles, if you now I'm going to put it in the upright. All right. I'm going to move it into the upright. It doesn't hurt anything to do this. It actually helps the energy move. Uh, I feel like I can honestly put it right here. If I move it even more, there's some sort of it's not ready yet. So I'm going to move it to this place. All right. When we look at the three of pentacles, this is the energy. We don't know how big this building is, but we see this painter and he's painting this window or he's painting this, this artwork. He's creating this artwork. And we're, we're assuming that this building, since it has big archways, is a big building. It has many of these archways. There are many windows to be painted or there are many paintings to be completed right? Each one of them could look different. Each one of them could represent a different cultural symbol or some kind of religious um, importance, right? Whatever this person is doing is creative, but it also has uniformity, right? We know that this building probably has these arches in a very uniform way around the building. So there's creativity here because there's art here, but there's also a uniform feeling. That's the pentacles energy, the grounding of this, this is something that maybe he's working on his first or his second or, th or his third window. But with the three of, and I don't know why I keep saying window, because it doesn't look really like a window, but it keeps coming out as a window. So I'm just going to go with it. Now, the three of pentacles we know is an energy of something existing, but in a very early form. All right, so something is existing here in a very early form. And it's truly something that can be seen or touched or felt because it's a three of pentacles. This painting, this window can be seen. It can be felt. And this person is experiencing this, right? And the people who see it, who walk by in the street can see it and they can experience it as well. It can affect them as well. So there's something here that is coming into some sort of tangibility, whether it's a relationship or a new job or a new project or some type of new family that's forming or some type of solution that's being created for something. It's, it's coming into being. All right. It's maybe not at a point, maybe from this perspective, the three of pentacles, right? Like this in this space, which I feel it's fair to put it here. Um, maybe th this is the first window and there are 27 other windows, right? Maybe this is just the first window, or maybe when the Three of Pentacles is tilted in this direction, maybe this painter is just really starting on the very first one, and maybe he hasn't really painted this, this whole image yet, right? So there is a something that has been, there's a structure here. There's a structure here of some kind. The energy around this has formed something tangible that can be held or seen or felt. Now, the Four of Wands comes out which talks about a foundation. It talks about a commitment, a foundation, some type of a shelter that is around the Three of Pentacles. So this could be a relationship that's building that's going to soon create a shelter. This came out in the upright. I feel like it's in the upright. So there is a new beginning here. There is a new beginning, a new foundation that's beginning to lean or to, or this could lean on it. There's something here that this is, there's a leaning here. There's a leaning. So maybe you already signed an agreement or you already um, connected with a new job or you already 
um, started a new relationship or something here. But now you're working on building something that is long lasting and something that has um, so much potential for um, prosperity in the future, right? So the four of wands is here. Beautiful energy. This is an energy of a foundation, a shelter, something that you can continue in the future to take action within. Whatever that action is, whether it's creating abundance, whether it is building a beautiful, um, happy um, family full of, full of vitality and, and strength, or maybe it is working to help a community um, find a new level of accomplishment in whatever way that is. Whatever this is, this is a shelter. It's like a basket in which activities can take place. And this shelter provides safety and security and allows you to be the most passionate and carry the most vibrant energy within it. It's a shelter of some kind. And then we have the wheel of fortune. So there's some sort of new movement here. Cannot be denied. That's what the Knight of Swords, the energy as I dig into the Knight of Swords, that's what it's talking about. There's some sort of powerful, fast action here for Aries, for this group of Aries, that is building something here to last into the future. And it's there is new momentum. This could be about new money, new opportunity. It could also be about how, because you have spent some time in the Nine of Cups, where you have learned what brings you fulfillment and what um, gives you the inner... The, the, what the love that you have for yourself that builds inner strength and allows you to feel comforted by your own self. This kind of energy has somehow allowed you to step forward into something very new. Um, this is a wish coming true for you. Nine of Cups. It's because you are able to um, really begin to understand the value of who you are and the beauty that you can contain within you, and the power of your love. Not only the power of your love for other people, but truly the power of your love for yourself, and what it can do in your world. And when it can build this kind of a beautiful structure in your world, guess what kind of an impact you're going to have in the environment around you? This will have a ripple effect that will help many people. So this is a beautiful energy that's happening here. Now we have the Empress in the lateral. So this is, this is, um, see, so you're on your way here to really living in this. So, so you, this is kind of in a way, maybe knocked you back a little bit. It's maybe, um, rocked you back. That's the feeling I get. It's rocked you back. It, it could have taken you from a place where you thought you were, um, living, um, in a very solid way. And this entrance of this could have made you a little nervous or, or it could have, the, the wind of this, the Knight of Swords, the wind, the air could have hit you um, and it could have just knocked you back a little bit so that you almost feel like you're going to fall over. Um, and so you could have some moments here of just being awkward or feeling unbalanced. That's okay. It, the, the way we find balance, and from my perspective, Aries, is to find quiet time and to meditate or whatever it is that you do to find that stillness of the mind, whether it's exercise or creative artwork or meditation or whatever you do to still the mind. It is to still the mind and um, find that connection with yourself again and find the connect connection with the divine and with the earth. And that can help ground you just a little bit um, because this Knight of Swords energy is fast moving. It's honest. It's direct. Like there's no, there is no vagueness here. It's shockingly clear. So this is happening for this group of you. It's happening. When the Three of Pentacles is here, it's happening. And the Wheel of Fortune usually says it's happening, right? It's, it's, it's here. Wheel of Fortune. So we have this Ace of Cups. Whatever this is, is this new inspiration. This is new love that's pouring into you and pouring out around you, right? It's, 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 <sighs> We have the future coming in here, and I'm moving on to the future here in a little bit, but this is, um, it's something that fills your heart so full that it feels like it's going to rip your chest open, and it's going to fill the room, and you can hear it pounding, thumpity, thumpity, thump. You know, that kind of an energy, that's what it does. That's what the Ace of Cups does. 
I, I have felt that before with a new child. I have felt that before on a vacation. I have felt that before when I've traveled and I've seen the beauty of the earth. I have felt these feelings before. I have felt these feelings in the arms of someone, you know, like these are, this is a feeling that can be felt in so many different ways. I have felt this feeling when I have seen someone else accomplish something that is incredible. That kind of a feeling can come over you when you can see people helping other people. When you can see the love of humanity at work and, and creating um, solutions that will help affect hunger and strife and war and poverty, that kind of feeling can come over us as well. So it doesn't have to be romance. So you have a five of swords coming out here. So there's something here in the background of this story that is talking about contrast. Five of swords, battle, war. I mean, that's what I just was talking about. Like, we have to remember that there are people all over the world that are going through different kinds of experiences. Some people have to every day step forward out of their homes and fear for their lives. Um, this, these kind of people that fear on a daily basis for their lives and they overcome and live gloriously, that is love. I mean, that's the most beautiful form of love. All right. Moving on, son. <laughs> okay. Moving on. We have the five of swords and then the sun. So there's something here that's really profound. Let's look and see what's coming in for you. Three of cups. So this is the energy that you'll be stepping into in the next immediate future. My hand shakes. It feels shaky. This is four of cups. There's that four of cups. Prince of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. King of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. This goes down here over the Four of Cups. Down here like this. Sorry, I'm just following my energy. And um, let me move this just a little bit. I know, Aries, this is taking me a little while, but these energies now are shifting. So give me a moment here to really kind of collect myself. This energy is down farther for some reason. These energies are down farther. So that was a big whirlwind. So something that you're going through right now, something that this group of Aries people is going through in the present time, and we have to realize all Aries are moving at different speeds. So some of you might just be getting into that energy. Some of you could have already had that energy and are already in this energy. So it kind of depends on where you are, if you're resonating with this. Um, but this energy is starting to settle. It's almost like you realize that you have a jewel that you carry in your hand. And what do we do when we have a jewel in our hand and we go out into the marketplace? What do we do with that jewel? We carry it tightly, don't we? We hide it somewhere. We put it in our purse and we put our purse very safely around us so that it can't be taken from us, right? We protect it. We don't want anyone to know that we have this beautiful jewel. And I think, feel like that's kind of the energy that you're stepping into. You have something here, the three of cups with the, the page of, of pentacles. And so it's something here that you're celebrating that you've seen some new success with. Page, page of pentacles here. Now, this Page of Pentacles has a little bit different energy. The Three of Cups energy is a very celebratory energy. But I even think this, this Page of Pentacles here is almost in itself something that's hidden. So if this is a relationship, I'm not quite sure that, any, that maybe a lot of people don't know about this relationship. If this is a new job, um, I think people might know that there's a new job, but I think maybe people don't know something about it. People might not know everything about it. For example, 
um, how it was created or how it was connected or what maybe the, the amount of money that you will earn. And they might not understand the abundance that could be here for you. So there's something here where there's a celebration, but then this indication of success here with the page of pentacles, this, this message, the messages that are coming in that are bringing you this emotion of success or of, of a tangible, tangible hope. Hope is not the right word. Tangible indications like there's evidence here there's some sort of evidence here that is a different energy than this celebration energy okay so there's celebration and happiness and joy but there's a business side to this or there's some sort of other side to this that you yourself are having some kind of a quiet victory right so there's an outward victory and there's an inward victory that outward victory has evidence because it's something that can be um it's something that can be enjoyed by others but the inward the inward victory is something that is just really being experienced maybe by you or maybe by um, two of you or a very very core group of people so there's a different there's a different levels of celebration here all right and then we have the seven of wands and the nine of wands so this this is an energy here of 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 protecting this this is taking this jewel that you have and carrying it in your hand and protecting it or putting it somewhere, but I think it's very close to you. I feel like it's in your hand or it's over your heart or it's in your heart or it's in your throat, right? It's somewhere within you or on you um, that you carry with you. It's, it's an excitement it, that you carry with you. It's not something you put in a drawer or that you put in the bank. It's something that you carry with you. And you're taking steps to protect it with the Nine of Wands. I don't think you're hiding it in, in a sense that it's not part of you, but whatever this page of pentacles is, this indication of success, a quiet victory, um, that's what you're hiding. The quiet victory is something that, that you are protecting. I don't know if you believe, if you say it, then you could be dooming it or something. There's something here where you're staying quiet about some sort of indication of success. Maybe if this is a relationship, it's gone a little further than people think, or if this is a job, um, there's something here, there's something here that's tangible for you that is your own business. It's not for everyone else to know. It's something that's your own business. And that, that part of it, that's your own business. That's what you're protecting. That's what you're protecting. As you move forward now, you're taking action to, to, to step into this role. You're taking action and you're stepping into this role with the Nine of Wands. It's something that you're doing sort of in a defensive energy. So again, there's a jewel here and you don't want anyone to um, affect it in any way, right? So you're very protective about this page of pentacles. You're very protective about it and you're taking action. The nine of wands is taking action, especially in this card. This person is taking action. Um, he has a crop and around the crop is a fence so that the, that the sheep and the cows and the deer can't get in and eat this crop. It looks like flowers or something here. And he's taking action now because he's realized that there might be a, a place that he hasn't thought of. Um, and that is, there could be birds that could come down and land in the field, right? So he's taking action now to put up a scarecrow. He's realized that there might be some um, area that needs to be protected. And so you could be seeing that too. You could be seeing like, okay, I'm starting this new project or I'm opening this new nonprofit or I am whatever I'm doing. I'm starting a new relationship and I need to, in some way or another, take some action now to, to represent it, to stand in front of it and to protect it from, from those energies that could start to take it away and and all and and we all know when we especially the creators out there that we're working to create when we're working to manifest it is, is very easy for other people to diminish what we have right they can say well how are you going to do this and well what about this well when we're in the process of manifesting those types of energies the naysayers the doubters they can really affect a manifestation. They can, those words can creep into your own psyche and they can affect you. There's something that you're doing here that has to do with this indication of success that you're protecting. You're, you're, you're in a protective act, action. And I, and a, this is a general energy, so it's hard to really get deeper into this, but it's protection here. Seven and nine, protecting this. Now, as you move into the future, the Knight of Pentacles is here. So the, this is stable progress and might be slow. 
but it's stable and it's significant. Right now, the nine of wands is connected to the knight of pentacles. So that tells me that whatever you're doing to work to preemptively take action and step into what this is and work to keep it safe is helping you to move forward with the stable progress. So the Nine of Pentacles is a really beautiful energy. It tells me that you're grounded. You're moving forward carefully. You're not making rash decisions. You're studying details. You're studying what's going on. You're very aware of all the different components and you're moving forward carefully. You're, you're taking consideration and, and looking at the situation before you move ahead. Even in relationships, this, there can be this energy around relationships. There is a long-term energy here. There is a long-term energy. And now, even more exciting, we have the King of Pentacles on top of the Knight of Pentacles. So this is this energy of movement for moving forward in such a stable, significant way, although it's slow, it will bring you considerable safety and comfort and abundance in an overall way. Remember, the King of Pentacles... He watches and maintains and brings wealth to his whole kingdom, the King of Pentacles. What does a Queen of Pentacles do? She looks at the details. She manages things on a daily basis and she, and she implements things and she works with the details. She's steady and she's a hard worker. King of Pentacles is steady. He's a hard worker, but he works to ensure the safety of the whole kingdom. So this Knight of Pentacles is going to bring safety and security and abundance to the whole picture of your assets and liabilities or your balance sheet or your bank accounts or your portfolio, right? Now there could be a King of Pentacles here. There could be an Aries, Taurus, Virgo here. We have three of these energies here. We have the Knight of Pentacles, which is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have the King of Pentacles, which is Vir Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And we have the Princess of Pentacles, which is a strong earth energy. So there is someone, there could be someone here in this journey with you who is very grounded, very um, versed in material possessions and how to care for those and how to build abundance. This is somebody who could be a business owner, somebody who could be a CEO, someone who understands the economy, the value of goods and trades and services, and understands how to um, create um, abundant energy through helping others and building and providing products and, and, um, and providing a service and, and trade and exchange. He understands how to build something or create something and exchange it for money, exchange it for wealth. So the King of Pentacles is here. Now the King of Pentacles is attached to the Four of Pentacles. So there is a side story here. I feel like this is like a side story. So whether you're the King of Pentacles, whether you're taking action by yourself now to bring in stable long-term improvement to your finances or to your overall picture of, um, of health in pertaining to wealth and material items, the state of your home, the value of your assets, whether you're doing that yourself, you could have this King of Pentacles energy um, color you. It can come down over the top of you and be a part of you. Um, I always like to think of these um, kings and queens as fragments within ourself. We have within ourself fragments of all of these kings and queens and pages, although the pages are not necessarily people, I feel. They're not necessarily fragments. They're more actions. There's more of a, a different energy with the pages. With the people, I feel like they're fragments within us. So if this is you and you're on some sort of a, um, um, a journey now to bring in wealth and abundance and comfort and, and stability to your finances, you could be really using and, and learning how to build and use and work with that King of Pentacles within you. For others of you, um, since especially since there is that, that um, Ace of Cups, there could be a relationship building here with a King of Pentacles. And you could be working together, you as a Knight of Swords and this person as a Knight of Pentacles, something like that. Now, this King of Pentacles energy is connected to the Four of Cups. So there is a back energy here of, <sighs> it's just like a lack of, interest in in options lack of interest in what has happened prior there there is some sort of story connected to this king of pentacles about um it's it's a different in energy it's it's an energy here of 
being bogged down in the details, being bogged down in the, um, I, I think what this is, is new inspiration. There's something here that is new and inspiring and exciting for the King of Pentacles, whether this is a fragment inside of yourself or whether this is another person. Um, this person or this fragment inside yourself has found um, some kind of a connection here with um, not being happy with the current situation, not being happy with what is experienced, wanting to bring um, new options, new excitement, new energy, new joy, new inspiration into this feeling here of the Four of Cups. So this King of Pentacles could have for some time felt discontented with life discontented with relationships, discontented with inspiration and passion. Um, this person could have just um, not been able to connect in with this kind of energy that I see here, the Seven of Cups energy. Seven of Cups energy doesn't have to be a stalemate energy. It's an energy of change. And um, Seven energy is different for me than the Five energy. Five energy is a very uneasy, it's, a, it's a, probably the most difficult period of time in a transformation, the Fives. Whenever we're talking about fives, it's something we have to do when we go through transformation. We have to. It's part of the transformation. But it's, it is the worst. For me, it's the worst part. When I transform, when I go through transformations, the five energies are the worst. The seven energies for me are exciting. They're the kind of energies that, yes, they're unstable. Yes, you're like, oh boy, I'm going to step out. I'm going to step out. Is there going to be something to step on or am I just going to fall? Okay. But that energy is exciting. It's like... um bungee jumping energy, or um, it's adrenaline energy. The Seven of Cups is adrenaline energy. That's the better way to put it. It's adrenaline energy. It's the kind of energy that just lights you up, but it also brings in this energy of like, but I don't know, but I don't know which one. Ah, You know, it's like, it's like you're on a, you're, you're in a game show and you have to choose. There's, there's, you could win a lot of money and you have to choose an option. And if you choose the right option, you're going to win all this money. If you choose the other options, there's nothing there. And you have to choose in like five seconds, which option that's the kind of energy. That's the energy that I'm talking about here. And there's been a lack of that kind of energy for this King of Pentacles. So there is a backstory. And I think that that's what the attraction power is, whether this is you or another person, the attraction power here is in this new vibration in this new buzzing in this new passion that we see here um, with you Aries so as this moves out into the future there's steady progress there's a protection energy but there's steady progress it looks it looks good there are indications here there are there are indications here that truly quietly within you bring you to the sense of um, stabilization in the change so whatever this page of Pentacles is, it helps you settle into this. It helps you claim it for your own. And it sets you into this energy of, of taking action now to, to, to live within that, to stand in front of it, to represent it, and to take action to care for it in a very careful way. So this is going into action here. Um, no matter what, what, no matter if this is another person in yourself, it's going to bring stabilization and improvement to your overall picture of, of health and wealth in your kingdom of whatever that is, whether it is a truly a kingdom or whether it is a small property or whether it is within your apartment, it doesn't matter. This is a feeling, King of Pentacles. Um, it's a feeling of having, and it's, and it's more than a feeling. It's, it's really true. It's a reality, but this King of Pentacles energy is a different energy for each and every one of us. We all are talking about different. We all live all over the world. In some places, $10 is a lot of money. And in other places, $10 is barely enough to buy a sandwich. So we're not really talking money here because the King of Pentacles for each and every one of us means something different. But we are talking about stability, abundance, um, bringing in the condition of not having to worry about bills, about expenses, about the next, how you're going to pay for your next meal. That's what I'm talking here. That's what's coming in for you. That's why you're so excited and that's why you're working to protect whatever this is. And I feel it's moving into a very good place for you. All right, let's look at the guidance here. Six of Cups coming in laterally, very strongly laterally. Seven of Pentacles here. So we have Six of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. <sighs> Damn. I haven't seen these cards either. I only see the ones that flip over so I can see them. 
Two of Cups, Five of Pentacles. There's a five energy. That's okay. We have seven here. So it doesn't bother me too much. Queen of Cups, Two of Wands. There's that decision. I need one more energy here. Usually the guidance isn't so much, but I won't spend too long in it. I think I already talked about a lot of this. So you have the five energy here. This is because of past pain that you've had with partnerships, right? That's how come we can get into the five of pentacles energy. We can worry about consequences, right? We can worry about being left out in the, week, in the cold. We can worry about the consequences of our actions. Fear um, is, a, is a very powerful emotion. And we learn to have fear because of past pain. So we do have this pain here connected with the five of pentacles. Again, this is an energy that's sort of off to the side here. It's not really part of a story. It's not really part of the story in a tangible way, but it is part of the story in a way that will help guide you forward if you can moderate this kind of energy. If you can keep it from overtaking you in this journey, this kind of energy can be helpful for you, right? The ego is helpful if we can learn how to minimize it, right? Listen to it, listen to it. And then after you've heard the message, then you can tell it to please take a seat. There's a nice, comfy, warm recliner over by the fireplace that it can sit in and relax and rest. You've heard the message, right? So you can hear it, but then just moderate the message, right? I'm going to move it off to the side. I'm not taking it out of the picture. I'm not taking it out because it's a part of your story. Without this, without the Five of Pentacles and the Three of Swords, you might not be here. Right? So it's definitely a part of the story, but it needs to be, mo it needs to be um, monitored and maintained, and it needs to be um, controlled, moderated. That's the word. There is an energy here of the Six of Cups, and the energy is lateral. Now, this energy is connecting to the Six of Pentacles and connecting to the Queen of Cups. So this is a soul energy. This is about the health and the well-being and the connectiveness of the soul to the family, to the land, to people, right? It can be, um, a, a, it's, it's something that can heal and, and create vitality and vibrancy within the soul. It's kind of a heart energy. How I feel the soul, when I can really connect in with this card, it's like, a tiny bit below the heart space, but above the, above the solar plexus. <laughs> Sorry. That's, I know it's silly, but it, it kind of affects you there in that spot. Anyway, for me, it's something that is, it can well and it can grow and it can affect how you take actions. It's something that's nostalgic. It's something that can bring you to tears, right? It connects deeply with the soul. Now this is lateral energy. So it tells me that you're working to connect in here. You're working to connect in and you have the queen of cups here. So this is a, um, a water energy, Pisces, cancer, um, and, and Scorpio energy. Um, I, I don't necessarily know that it's one of those zodiac signs. It can be, but this is about, um, self love. It is about self awareness. That's why you have the nine of cups. Remember in this current energy of the nine of cups. So, um, you're, you're really in a very healthy place for yourself. You're working on whatever this is. You're working to bring it into fruition. You're working to make it into something very stable and long, long lasting for yourself. And now we have another indication that it is something. It is something tangible because you have the seven. And I love this card. I love the seven of pentacles energy. It's one of this deck. I love this deck. I think it's probably because I um, grew up on the land as a farmer, as a, as a farmer, I spent a lot of time in my life working on the land, working in dirt, working with crops. And this car, this deck just really works for me for some reason. Um, but I like the seven of Pentacles a lot because it talks about having something. She has this crop that's on the tree. Now, I don't think this crop is right yet because I don't think she's picking it. I think she's looking at it. I think she's observing it. I think she's checking it to make sure it's healthy. She knows that it still has to grow some more. She knows she has to wait a little while, but she knows there's a lot of work to be done still. Farmers work hard for their crops. They work hard. They look at their crops. They plan for their crops. Not only does she have to wait for it to 
to ripen, she has to watch the weather because the weather and what happens with weather nature can affect the crops. Weather can affect a crop just moments before it's picked. If cherries get rained on, that will um, harm the cherry, right? So she knows she has to watch the weather. She knows she has work to do. She has to figure out where she's going to take this crop. She has to figure out who's going to pick this crop for her, who's going to pick it, where where is she going to find the workers to help pick this crop? Is she going to pick it herself? She looks like she could be pregnant. I doubt she's going to pick it herself. She might help, but I doubt she's going to do it all herself. Where is she going to take the crop and how is she going to get the crop there? Right? There's a lot of details still to be figured out, but there is something to be worked with. And it's a really exciting energy. See how she's dreaming? This is a happy face. This is, this is going to bring her abundance in the future. This is going to bring her income. This is going to bring her stability and something to build a foundation on. And it definitely is connected somehow with a partnership because we have the two of cups. Now we have the two of wands connecting the seven of pentacles with the two of cups. This tells me there's some sort of decision here to be made, probably with this partnership here, something to do with this partnership. There could be two different ways of doing this, right? This is an action energy. It's a taking action. How will you take action? How will you go into action? Will you do it this way or will you do it another way? So there is some sort of an action decision and there's needs to be um, um, logic, but also a moderating of this energy. I, I keep hearing the words, a lack of fear. There needs to be, there needs to be some sort of monitoring and and maintaining of this three of swords and the five of pentacles if the five of pentacles and the three of swords becomes more stronger than they should that could affect this two of wands decision so there is need here to be balanced and remember the empress was in lateral that talks about the need to balance and to find the balance within yourself and to get back on your front on your on your feet have them firmly planted on the ground. And before you take action, before you decide how you're going to do this partnership, how you're going to do it, it might be necessary for you to really connect in, connect into your hit, to your inner self. And I have found when I connect into my inner self, our fears and our worries and our pain, oftentimes, if we're not balanced, when, when we connect into our knowledge within us and when we connect into divine, if this is too powerful, this energy within our minds can affect, can affect the information that we get from our inner selves and from the divine. It can, it can, it can warp the information. So there's a need here before you just take action to really find balance, find balance, become attached, become a little bit unattached to this two of cups. Finding when you become balanced, you find that you can disconnect easier. And when you can disconnect easier, when you don't find so much strength in what the outcome is, when you find your balance, you're not so much connected with the outcome. You're balanced. And when you're more balanced, you can get um, a more, much more clear sense of what would be the best action to take for you in your situation. Um, but again, you, you, this is part of the story and it needs to be there, but if it becomes too powerful, it can affect this two of wands. Okay. That was your story. And now, um, okay, let me, let me figure out what I'm going to dig deeper into in the extended. Well, definitely I'm going to connect with this Ace of Cups. Definitely here. Um, I'm interested in this Knight of Swords. And I am interested in this Knight of Pentacles. Because I think these are both two different people. That's what I think. Um, I'm interested in what this King of Pentacles has to say. And I'm interested in these two, this two of cups energy. So I'm going to go into these, these five energies. And if I have time, I will dig deeper into the future of this. It depends on how long it takes, but I'll definitely go into these five energies and then I'll go into the future. If I have time, 
um, because I've already, this, this reading is really long and I can really only effectively channel like this for about an hour and a half. And then I can feel the energy dra draining away. So that's what I'll do first. And then if I have time, I will um, go into the future here and see how this is going to move forward. All right, my beautiful friends, this is an exciting story for Aries. Um, there's a group of you that is, that is really on something new and powerful. And um, I'm so happy that the story is about you today. Um, we are not all in the same place. And there is a group of you here that are entering into something really beautiful. And um, it's so exciting to see this story. It, it, it will inspire all of us. And it inspires me. So thank you, Aries. Um, I'm, I'm going to take a short break and then I'll move into the extended. Thank you all very much. I wish you all the best.